guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com, Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWplans. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a vertical spread using just washi tape and other supplies, no stickers, in your Amplify Planner. First things first, um, if you want to do your um, Amplify Planner as a vertical, I do sell just these date covers in the Etsy shop as of this morning. There are, these extend a little bit further than the ones that come in the kit. This is the uh, patisserie kit from June, uh, but I do sell these date covers so that they will actually cover up the day of the week that you see here. So they'll be wide enough to cover that up. That leaves a, you can call it today's focus section, or you can put the weather, whatever you want in that, in the blank space below that, and then you use the rest for vertical planning. Today, however, I'm gonna do this without using a kit. I'm just going to go ahead and plan out my week. No kits, just washi tape, uh, whiteout, markers, and the usual tools, rulers, um, my slice tool, all the good stuff. The links for these are in the description of the video. So I'm gonna start off with whiteout, uh, just because I am not gonna use the days of the week as they're listed here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and white them out. So we just had this nice white bar on the side. If you want, you can just leave it as a nice little white bar there. Use it for something, whatever you want. We now have this plain white bar. Um, if you have the undated planner from Amplify, then you don't have the little dates, you just have the days of the week. And you can just go ahead and wipe that out. Um, like so. Step one. Uh, step two is going to be getting these boxes set up for my days of the week. Now, if you wanted your vertical spread to all be on one side of your page, or one side of your spread. Uh, again, as I went over last week, this is a spread, this is a page. If you wanted to have a single page that uh, had everything, you would then divide these in half. I'm going to do a vertical double page spread. It will make things a little weird to rotate here, rotate here, but it, we're gonna make it work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my days of week. And I'm just gonna use a black Tombow marker to do my dates. So the first day for this week of June is, depending if you're starting on a Sunday the 6th or Monday the 7th, I start on Mondays. So we're going to make it seven, eight. And if you have a redating kit, you could use those stickers here instead. But like I said, I'm trying to avoid stickers in this spread. Uh, for this page, there are a couple more options. Um, I did consider getting the printout and once you've ordered an Amplify planner, you can get a printout, a blank printout. Printing out one of these columns and then taping or sticker paper printing and then putting it here so that this would be Friday. But I'm trying to keep this as easy and simple to follow as possible. If you wanna get super fancy with it, you can. If you wanna go that route, I mean that's, if I was doing this again, just for myself, not for a video, that is probably what I would do. 
but once again, depends on how fancy you want to go. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do in my days of the week. I decided not to uh, stay in the lines when I was thinking about doing this video. I was like, well, you could stay in the lines. But I think this looks cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my days of the week. And again, because you're, re you're essentially redating this when you do it vertical like this, you can start your day on whatever day of the week that you would normally start. So if you normally start like on a Friday, let's say like my uh, fitness planner does, cause that's like your weigh-in day, then go ahead and start it on a Friday. I like this particular pen that I'm using here just because it is probably the easiest to do fun lettering in. Um, the uh, tip of it is really super flexible without uh, kind of fraying quickly like uh, the other Tombow ones do. It's a bit more forgiving, I think if your lettering isn't necessarily the best. And the ink's kind of gorgeous so you can fix things if you screw up. Like I did when my light went out because it's been that kind of morning for me. Fix my letters, all right. Next side. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the numbers for my time slots. When I do this, I'm going to use a thicker marker. This is the 03 Micron. And I'm going to not do it in the box. I'm going to do it on the line to make it easier to plan. And I'm going to do it backwards from my end time. So we'll have, let's say, 11 p.m. If you can't see, I am putting the number right in the middle of the horizontal, what's now the horizontal line, and the first number on the first, what's now vertical line, in order to keep everything aligned as I'm going through and numbering. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all the numbers for this. The next thing I'm going to do is finish drawing in my days. Um, I have this big chunk of space at the top. And what I've decided to do with that is turn it into a weather section and a um, section for my top three to do's. So I'm going to section off starting with my top three to do's. In this case, I've decided to use this actually. Hmm. So what I've decided to do is section it off. And what I'm going to start with is my top three to do's. I'm going to use my 01 micron to put it in a dot. So I'm going to leave a space here in case I need more writing room. Do a dot here for one, dot here for two, dot here for three. Now I have my top three to do's and I'm going to just go ahead and label that. I'm going to use a light gray marker. But you might not be able to see. Right now, but then I'm going to go over it with a dark gray marker to make it a kind of pop off the page. without kind of distracting from my days of the week at the top. This way I've kind of got a shadow going on, but I don't have to wait for the marker to dry in order to do my kind of little light gray shadow underneath. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna leave a space for the weather. So I can put in my highs and lows. And I will show you kind of what that looks like as well. I'm gonna use my light, light, light gray marker again to kind of divide it with a line right here. And then we'll do another dividing line here. And if you mess up, like I just did, and you go over onto your whited out section, you can just white it out again. And if you mess up with the white out, you have our slice tool and we can actually just kind of scrape off that white out to make it look nice and neat and even. Okay. Now, whatever the weather is going to be on that date, I can draw it in there and then add in my high and low for the day. And even put in my sunrise and sunset. So there's, that will be my high and low for the day. And then I can put in my sunrise, sunset time, my weather, whatever else I want to put in there. Okay. Just like a traditional bullet journal. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of this page. All right. Once we have our days filled out, the last thing I'm going to draw in by hand is going to be over on this side here. I'm going to take these lines here and make a vertical habit tracker. If you've never seen a vertical habit tracker before, this might blow your mind. Um, if you've seen one before, this is going to be kind of old for you. So we're going to measure out the width of our lines. It's a five millimeters. And then just like if we were putting a habit tracker in that we've drawn ourselves, we're going to draw that out so that, okay. So we're going to count out seven five millimeter blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw them out again down here. And then we're just going to line across and I'm going to grab my 05 micron to do that. Basically, we're just playing connect the dots at this point. Now, if you don't like having some lines darker than others, you can always also overline the original black lines here so that all of your lines are the same darkness. I like the 05 micron because it's so super thin that for the most part, it kind of looks like gray if you only go over it with one pass. Um, that doesn't look right. So it kind of looks like light gray if you only go over it with one pass, but otherwise, and that one got messed up. All right. But otherwise, if you want it darker, you go over it twice and then you can go over the other lines, to make up for it. Yeah, just connect your dots. They should be equally measured across, so they should line up evenly. like so. And now when you do your habits that you're going to be tracking, you'll just write them in either going down this way or going down this way, whichever way makes more sense for you when you're looking at it vertically. I'm going to do what's almost upside down 
because when I look at it like this, it's gonna make more sense for the letters to be going that way than they are to be going that way, okay? So, let's make our habits daily meditation. And we'll do right so we can get in the habits before NaNoWriMo and we'll say 500 words a day of anything it could be a blog post and we'll say read 25 pages I usually read more than that but it's a good goal we will say our habit will be medication so I don't forget it and vitamins and let's and then you know whatever other habits we're going to track we'll just track them like that and then we'll have monday tuesday wednesday very jacked up thursday here friday Saturday and Sunday. So that becomes our habit tracker. For this block, I'm going to actually turn this into a task list. I'm going to take my ruler here and I'm just going to white out where it says next week's reminders to make this kind of in line with the, we'll call it imaginary line of the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here. And you know what? Sometimes the whiteout doesn't cooperate. Like it's not cooperating now. And I'm just going to make it work. I'm going to force it to cooperate. The other thing you can do if you have white washi tape is white washi tape over this. Okay. Maybe what we end up doing here, because this is my whiteout is just not cooperating today. So we're just going to whitewash you over it. And we'll use one of our thinner ones. Just lay a straight line down. It doesn't look that much different than the whiteout that we already put down. It's just a little bit thinner. If you want to make sure it's really covered, you could do a second strip of it. Right there like that. And if it's a little messy, we can fix that later, either with um, some other colored washi or some paint or markers or whatever, however we want to fix that. We're going to get rid of that text. And I'm sorry if my head was in that shot there, but very precise things call for my head to get in the way sometimes. All right, now I'm going to do my lettering. All right, and we're going to do important tasks here. You can make this whatever you want. And we went right over onto the washi, which is fine. Okay gonna be a little sloppy we're gonna live with it then I'm just gonna go down and once again starting from the bottom mark out five millimeter spaces
my way up to my lettering. Flip it around, do the same thing on the other side, right next to the washi. And my jacked up lettering. In fact, I'm so bothered by this lettering, I'm actually going to remove some of this washi. I don't need it that high up. I'm just trying to cover that lettering, if you recall. I don't like my letters looking that messy. Some stuff messy, sure, but not my letters. As neat but it's better than it was looking before all right all right and then we're gonna go ahead and connect our dots again just like we did before I'm gonna leave the first dots unconnected because I want those to just kind of be I guess you would say like the line that you consider the header to be written on just go across connect the dots with your ruler it might be a little wonky. It's fine. This is just for you. I mean, like, all right, mine has to go on Insta. Mine has to go in this video. And so I'm a little bit like, oh, I need to get this done right. But like for your personal, like if it looks good, put it on your Insta. If it looks or Facebook or whatever, for sure. But if like you screw it up, don't worry about it. Like it's not the end of the freaking world, you know, doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to be something that'll work for you. Once I've got those in, I'm just going to connect my lines over here, which is the other reason I wanted that top line, I guess you could say. Then what I'm going to do is measure out half millimeter here and a half millimeter here and then I'm going to go ahead and make my to do's my check boxes there we go and if I really want I can go ahead here up here must be good well And make a little box here so then I can use that space for to do as well now if this is fine for you then you can be done you don't have to do anything else you can just leave it as is we did leave this big stripe down where we whited out the date and time and if it's something that would bother you um, you can always wash you over that little strip um, if you get the kind of washi tape that has little check boxes, you could actually use this side as a full task list. Or you, if you don't mind, if you read right to left, or you don't mind looking right to left, you can do your times right to left. What I'm going to do right now is very quickly show you how I would fill this out. Um, as you can see right now, I already went ahead and got my sunset. 8.26 p.m. and my sunrise times in there. Um, I'm grabbing the future forecast. So this is kind of, you know, iffy as to whether this would be accurate or not when I actually get around to next week. But we're going to write in our highs and lows. So that's our predicted high is 72. And I can just go over my degrees gray dot there. And then my predicted low is 48 it's Colorado so it gets real cold at night so I'll just put 48 degrees in there and it's predicted to be sunny that day so I can just put in my sunshine I'm gonna use a little stencil here if I was gonna if it was partly cloudy I'll just show you partly cloudy for fun if it was gonna be partly cloudy I could do both 
that. I'm going to have a little sunshine coming out the side there. So then when the week actually came around, I would just go through and fill it out like that. Just make my sun a little darker. Yep. So, you know, I would get my weekly forecast for the week. I would fill out my highs and lows, my weather, my sunrise, sunset, which I'm a photographer, so that's important to me. Um, if you didn't want that, you could put in something else whatever's important information is important to you. This could be your today's focus section, you know, or however you wanted to do it. Um, I'm going to leave this stripe blank. You could absolutely, if you have some like mini washi, go ahead and just mini washi down the sides. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it blank. I kind of like the blank look of it. Okay. I did a video a couple weeks ago where I did a rainbow washi look in my passion planner. I said it's the same as if you're doing it in your amplify planner. But in case you didn't believe me, I'm just going to do my rainbow washi in the amplify planner. The way I'm doing this, I'm going to be a bit sloppier than I did in the other one. because I'm just going to do it kind of straight up and down rather than on a 45 degree angle like I did with the Passion Planner. You just have to be careful when you're laying down this washi, if you go over the uh, whiteout that you already put down in the little spot here, you have the potential to lift it up when you rip up your washi. So my recommendation to you is if you're gonna do this, get your washi and don't let it cross over that line there, unless you're gonna put something else down or paint over it, then it doesn't matter as much. Here I'm using my spatula tool whenever my uh, washi gets a little wrinkled or crooked to just kind of fix it. And you know, you don't have to use a slice tool to fix this part up here. You could always just use like scissors or something. We don't really care about how neat it is at the moment. And I'm actually going to do it. I'm not being as careful as I was on the other one because you guys have already seen me plan out like a really super cute washi look. We're just going to today do something a little fun, a little stripey, not any. You want to see how I, to do like a if you want to see how to do this with like a lot of instructions, go ahead, check out the video for Passion Planner. As you can see, it's the same exact process. The only difference between this and the way I did it in the Passion Planner video is that for this video, I'm A, not explaining what I'm doing particularly, and B, I'm not doing the 45 degree angle. I'm just doing straight up and down. And again, you can do 45 degree angle. You could do horizontal if that was like your jam, whatever, you know. I'm just taking them as they occur in my uh, washi holder here. If you're wondering, I go over and cut the ends even. A, because I don't want to pull up, accidentally pull up the white out because a little triangle of it flipped over onto the white line. But also because when you have washi tape for a really long time, the washi tape itself will start to lose stickiness toward the end of the roll, especially like the less quality ones. Like the MT is fine, but some of the other ones that you get, like especially the ones from Michaels, uh, like the Reflections brand, or uh, or worse yet was like the Heidi Swappy one, um, or Hello Swappy, whatever it is. Um, they'll just dry out so where it's exposed to air. So I cut the ends off so that I lose the not so sticky part and have mostly the sticky end left. If you watched my other uh, rainbow washi tape planner video, you probably saw me at the end go through and put Mod Podge over the washi tape. As you'll notice from that video, the reason I did the Mod Podge was because I was putting stickers over top of the washi. 
Stickers don't always stick to washi, and if they do stick to the washi and not to the paper, then if the washi curls up over time as it loses its stickiness, the days of the week will pull up also. By putting the Mod Podge over the washi tape, I made sure it's sealed fast to the paper, and that way the stickers had something to adhere to. I am not gonna Mod Podge these washi because I'm not stickering over them. If I was gonna sticker over them though, I would put the washi over, or this Mod Podge over the washi. I'm just gonna go in when I go to utilize my time slots. I have this little green tool here. Let's see, Monday the 7th, there is an ASMP meeting So I at seven to nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dot and I can line it up right here like this. And that's why we did them on the line, not in the boxes. Dot at seven. Line it up. It's got these little lines that make it really easy. Line at nine. Draw it down. And then I can even draw it out like this. And then put in like a SMP meeting. And that would be how you do that. Um, if you want to color code, which is something you can do, you could either just do the colors over the numbers or color in your lines, which is how I do it. Just like that. Um, as an example, if you wanna see how to do it with coloring in the lines, I could do, okay, I've got therapy from four to 5 p.m and then I could color block that out like that. And then write in therapy. But those are some different ways that I could use, then use that vertical planner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to share. Uh, we go live with new videos every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Sometimes things go a little bit off, and then we're gonna go live later that day, in which case you'll get a notification only if you subscribe. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, I encourage you to become a patron, patreon.com slash erwplans. We have exclusive content, uh, future scheduling updates, so you'll know which videos go live on which dates. And if there's anything that happens where a video won't go live, or if there's a sale in the store, you'll be the first to know. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and stick around for the next video.